Tesla shares have been downgraded on their rating from buy to neutral by UBS. In this video, I'll be breaking down the implications of this news on Tesla and diving deeper into why investors should consider buying or staying away from Tesla stock. So let's have a deep dive into Tesla. So we have the three screens set up here. The top left-hand chart is the monthly time frame. The top right-hand chart is the weekly time frame. And this long chart along the bottom is the daily time frame. There's also trend filter colors on the weekly and the daily. So green when we are bullish, red when we are bearish, and gray when we're seeing periods of consolidation or corrections in the market. So let's first open up the monthly time frame to get a bigger picture of what price is doing in Tesla. So we have the monthly here. Price is in between this green line, which is last year's high, the highest point for 2022, and last year's low. So last year's high is all the way up at $402. We have the all-time high at $415, and then last year's low here is at $107. So not too far above the $100 round number. So major resistance and major support, which are really far apart. So price has enough room within this zone to actually form a trend. And as we can see, after price dived, so from this high in November 2021, all the way to the low in January 2023, price declined by 75%. That was a very steep decline. And this was following this strong surge we saw in price. So this is around the period of the COVID pandemic. Following that, we had a strong move to the upside in which price actually moved up around 1,486%. So a very large move followed by a very steep decline. But since this decline, price found support in January this year and has since moved up 162%. So the recovery is going well. Price still has some way to go before it reaches the all-time high. If it does reach this level and break out, we could see another surge to the upside but right now price is stumbling just below the 300 dollars round number we see this reversal candle for july at the moment we want to see a bullish close by the end of the month so unless we start to see some strong buying towards the end of july price is likely to close as a reversal candle and this could be followed by another pullback before we see a continuation to the upside or price may just continue to decline back towards this area of support. So let's see how price closes at the end of the month first. And then we want to look at the weekly and daily time frames to see whether there are any levels of support below price that could help price to bounce back to the upside. So let's go to the weekly time frame now. We can see that the trend filter here is green. Price is above the 200 simple moving average and if you look at the 200 historically it has held strong as support so around this period here October 2019 price was used as support and price came down towards the 200 again in March 2020 and then we had this strong move to the upside then we had this steep decline which I mentioned on the monthly time frame price then came down towards the 200 simple moving average it did move below the 200 but then came back and found comfort around this level before finally gaining enough confidence and momentum to actually push its way back to the upside. So the 200 is a strong area of support and is holding price up. And if we see another pullback towards the 200, then we sh may well see another bounce. And also note that the 200 simple moving average also coincides with the $200 round number at the moment. So again, making this a stronger level of support. I'm just going to add on the 50 simple moving average now. And we can see this orange line, the 50 simple moving average, is also close to the 200 simple moving average. So we have the 200 simple moving average, the $200 round number, and the 50 simple moving average all around the same zone. So reinforcing this as a very strong level of support if price does decide to come down to this area here. And if it does, we will just anticipate a bounce from this level and a continuation to the upside. Let's go over to the daily time frame now to get a closer picture of what price is doing. Price at the moment is displaying gray candles because we are experiencing a pullback. Remember when we see gray candles, price is just merely pulling back. The majority of the candles from May this year have been green. Price is now pulled back in between the 20 and the 50 simple moving average. Found support within this zone here and Monday's candle closed with this bullish engulfing candle and now we are anticipating a continuation to the upside. We anticipate price to also fill this gap 
but a confirmation of a continuation to the upside would be a break and close above the July 19th high here at $299. So just around the $300 round number, which is a psychological level of support and resistance. So right now, this chart does look messy. Price is still within a wide area of consolidation, but within this consolidation, price is forming this trend. So we've seen higher highs and higher lows. So as long as price doesn't move down below a major support level, we should continue to see a move to the upside. Now the downgrading of Tesla shares by UBS may cause price to continue to decline, but based on the chart structure, price is forming a nice trend so sideways to up not the strongest looking trend but still moving to the upside recovering from that larger correction so we just want to look at the technicals and observe whether or not price is breaking levels of support so for example if price does break down below the 50 simple moving average and moves towards this zone here the 200 simple moving average with the 200 dollar round number then we could be in store for further weakness or price may just continue to consolidate and move sideways and do nothing for a lengthy period of time but if we see a bounce back to the upside and a breaking close above this recent high then we can anticipate further moves to the upside and eventually a move towards the all-time high and remember if price does break above the all-time high and forms a trend that will be the perfect time to place positions and compound on your positions along the way to maximize on potential profit hope you enjoyed today's video analysis of tesla if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification icon because most of our videos are time sensitive. You want to catch all of our videos as soon as they are released on the platform. Look forward to seeing you all on the next video analysis.